Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is slightly different to my usual style of video. Usually I plan out my videos. I'm usually pretty logical. I put together like a Google document, um, show you guys some awesome products. However, I haven't got time to do that today. Things are pretty busy right now. Um, business wise, home life wise, it's my wife's birthday in a couple of days. I've got one year old at home. Time is not exactly of an abundance right now. However, I know there's a ton of people out there who want to start a dropshipping business, but they don't know how to. They don't know where to start. They don't know how to find a product. And that is where your business starts. Your business starts with your product. The most important aspect to your business is your product. Without a product that sells, without a product that people want to buy, you have no way of making money. So today I'm gonna to give you kind of like a live demonstration. I'm trying to do no cuts if possible, as long as I don't get any distractions here at the office showing you what the product research process looks like for me. To put it into context, if you don't know who I am, um, I've been dropshipping since 2016, so that is seven plus years now. Since then, I'd say probably 90% of every single penny or pound or dollars, whatever you want to call it, has been spent on Facebook. So you are looking through the lens of somebody with seven plus years experience on dropshipping with majority of that ad spend onto Facebook. So I'm essentially looking through a lens of products that I think will sell well on Facebook in Q4 of 2023. I've got my go-to product research softwares ready. So Seller Trend, Seller Trend is brilliant for finding those weird and wonderful products that you otherwise would just never knew existed. Exploding Topics is the same um, really, but what Exploding Topics does is actually gives you data, um, actual numbers um, of how many people are actually looking for that product. What it also does as well, just to show you very, very quickly, is it gives you a channel breakdown. It shows you which platforms that product has been exposed on, that product is popular on. So with this one, a quick example, wireless CarPlay adapter, growth in the past five years, 3,200%. Everybody on Reddit knows what this is. Everybody on YouTube knows what this is or has seen it on that platform, I should say. But Pinterest, Facebook, X, no, formerly known as Twitter, of course, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn is not so popular or not so well seen on those platforms. As you can see, there are only 11 million views on TikTok, which by the way, is not a big amount of views. We have Dropspy. Dropspy is brilliant um, for literally finding winning products, proven winning products in the space of a few seconds. Um, Minia is exactly the same, except with Minia, you do get Pinterest and TikTok ads, which is awesome. They need to change that. Um, and then perhaps at the end, if we've got time, um, if you're still watching the video and I'm not boring you away, then the plan is to find maybe, I know, we'll see how we go, maybe three products with good potential, maybe five, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I'll show you how I use ChatGPT again within the space of a few minutes um, to put together some good brand name ideas. Um, and a product description as well for those products. And then who knows, if the video gets some good traction, over 500 people watch it and they wanna see a part two, then perhaps I'll show you how I would build a Shopify store. I mean, I don't build Shopify stores uh, myself anymore. However, I still know, of course, how to build them. I have a guy that does it for me. However, perhaps I'll show you the sorts of things that I would do if I were to build a Shopify store. Let's start with the, let's start with Dropspy because it's a very quick and easy one to do. Hey, sorry to interrupt your video. I'll be super, super quick on this. 20 to 30 seconds of your time. I just want to make you aware of this. So this is an ebook that I put together myself. It's a 12 month supply of 127 vetted winning products ideas that are working right now. The products separated by time of year. So whether you pick this up now in three months time, six months time, nine months time, you will have a list of proven products that are going to work because they are backed by data. It's 100% free. It's an instant download as well. There's no dodgy funnel or videos you have to watch. Stick your name in, stick your email address in, and it will be in your inbox in the next 30 seconds. To grab a copy of this, check out the top link in the video description below. Thanks. I have my pre-filled criteria. So comments 250 plus, call to action, econ platforms, likes, language, shares, and this should not be in here. However, it is. Basically, the reason I've got these is I want to find those Facebook posts which have traction. When a Facebook post has traction, there's a reason it has traction. It has traction because people are interested in it. People who are interested in things buy things. If something has 200 shares, 250 plus comments, inside that comment section will be evidence of whether people have bought that product or not. So as I scroll through these, I'm looking for the things that are kind of 
<clears throat> not uh, what's the word things that aren't spoken about on a daily basis on YouTube in the dropshipping space because you the more saturated the more competitive a product is the harder it is of course to be successful with it so this for example a portable sauna this is not an everyday product which you'll see the average dropshipper selling because it's quite an expensive product <clears throat> and it's not as easy to dropship as a small cheap crappy plastic product that most people go for so the new recover this post has been active since august august um august 4th the other thing i'm looking at by the way when i'm scrolling through here is i'm looking at the most or last seen date so um, november 9th as we can see which was yesterday which shows that this is still active um, so if we can find out whether it's working or not then essentially we know it's working and we know it's still active it's a great idea i love ours can't wait to get home and get in it five weeks ago um, I'm interested, bought mine today. So somebody bought one of these one week ago. So there's some evidence there that people are buying these things. I'm interested. Mine just came in, setting it up now. Just purchased mine yesterday. I got mine just now. I'm a happy man. I want this. I received mine this week. I think that's pretty non-deniable. I don't know how long I've been waffling on for, but in this space of like a minute or so or two minutes using Dropper Spy, we've found what looks to be um, a pretty decent product. We also have access to what the decent ad creative looks like as well. So of course we can use that as inspiration. Do not copy it. Um, can two people fit? So this is newest comments, by the way. So one hour, four weeks, that'll be because it has a recent reply, but two hours. Uh, let's just open some of these up. Uh, so what I'm looking for is the most recent one. So five days ago, four days, five days, six days, three days two days, three days, three days, one day. So it looks pretty consistent. It looks like this is still working at the moment. I received mine in mine last night. There's a lot of people ordering these things actually. Um, interesting. January time is always a really popular time as well for fitness and health. It's like the number one New Year's resolution. These guys selling it for 347 pounds. That's a lot of money for essentially what is like a, a bag, basically a big bag that you sit in. Um, with some temp holes probably to hold it up. Um, interesting product. So 347 pounds is definitely gonna be at least 100 pounds of room in that. Back to drops by then, but in its essence, I mean, that was a pretty good example. I think we'll struggle to beat that. We have this lit lamp, so not November 9th again yesterday, it started on, um, so you always have to be careful of when the, the creation date was. Because if we open this up, um, products that work, a year ago or two years ago, they they can sometimes work again the following years. It really depends on the niche um, and how many new people are coming into the market, coming into the space each year. So for example, pet niches is like the common one. Everybody says, oh, it's so saturated. It's always been done to death, but like cats and dogs get adopted in the hundreds of thousands, even in the millions, um, if, you're taught, if you're including more than one country. So there's essentially or potentially a million new people that now own a dog and now own a cat and now need a bed for it or a bowl for it or toys for it or whatever it may be. So some of these comments are gonna be from flipping ages ago, 38 weeks ago, as we can see. So just make sure when you're doing your research, you check the newest ones um, to see what people are saying about it recently and see if this company is still paying to use this as an ad because if they are, then it must still be working. I got 17 now I can't see so that's drop spy that's how I would use that I'm not going to keep this I'm going to shortlist the that one uh, I'm not going to shortlist that one um, so that's drop spy done I would say that's essentially how I would use drop spy the other thing you can do is well which I haven't shown you is tech search at the top so if you already have a brilliant business and you want to add to your product range we can put dog into here and we can see what sort of dog products um, are selling right now as well so it does allow you to be niche specific which is good let's jump back to exploding topics. So there's a couple of ways I would use this. I'll go straight to trending products. Um, if you wanna try and find something that's selling now and working now because you wanna start your business now, then um, obviously there's no point looking at the growth over the past five years. We want something that's coming into trend now. So we'll go for past six months, if not past three months. Exploding topics is quite an expensive tool. It's about $600 a year. However, it's not a drop shipping tool. So as you'll see, a lot of these products here aren't really relevant to us. So every now and again, you do come across an absolute gem of a product that you'll never have seen before. But because it's backed by data, then you know it's gonna be a product that's working. So let's have a look at these 3D calendars. This is definitely something we'd be able to buy. 
and 300% growth in the past six months. This is probably because people buy these things as it coming towards the end of the year. So we can see sort of September, September coming down in October for whatever reason and on its way back up. Let's go for past two, past two years and see what's going on. So yeah, we can see September, October, November, August, September, a really nice high time. And then November, December time, search volume still over 100K, which is still really good. And 2 billion views on TikTok. And we have a channel breakdown wise, we can see that not so popular on X or not so um, appearance wise, activity wise, not so much activity on X not so much on Instagram, not so much on TikTok, however, a little bit more on Facebook. So it gives you an idea of what kind of platforms um, to go after. For sake of time, I'm gonna keep this one as a short list, even though I think this is a much better product. Um, but like I said, for sake of time, I don't wanna make this video uh, an entire hour long. Um, let's jump on to Miner. The premise is the same as Dropper Spy, so you can set your criteria. As you can see, a lot of the same products will come up. Um, they must get fed the same products through the, um, what's the word, through the link, um, through the connection um, to Facebook. Where this one comes into play though is TikTok ads. So we can go into TikTok, we'll go back to the top, you can add to your quick query, your pre-filled criteria. And again, it's gonna give you or take you to those things. What you are looking for is stuff like this. So over 300,000 plays, 1,000 shares, and we can click see TikTok ad and it's going to give us a lot more information. So 700 comments, which is brilliant. So if we have a look at this on TikTok, if it's a good product, then we should see some comments from people. There's a lorry literally reversing right up to my office window. Oh my God. We should see some people giving us some idea of whether they're going to buy this thing or not. Please the blue one. Where did but those things, where can I buy it? So there's intent, I want it. I got the electro gnosis, where do you buy it? I want it so bad. I love this shop. So that's some pretty decent evidence there that people are buying this product. So that's how I would use Minio. Let's jump on to Seller Trend then. Um, like I said, it's like one that you'll just discover products that you've never really seen before. Um, so this is what I'm gonna think, kind of talk you through what I would think of every product. I'd stay away from these sorts of things. Do they work? I don't know. Even if they do, I have absolutely zero interest in this sort of thing. Nobody wants to listen to me talk about anything to do with hair or beauty. <laughs> so I would have to pay somebody constantly to get on camera and talk about it or produce content or that sort of thing. And it's just not something I enjoy. Like if I was going to meet somebody and I was going to say, hey, I say hair, I sell hair colors, they would probably give me a strange look. I want to sell something that is close to my own heart, something that I have a keen interest in. So that pretty much, this has been done to death. There's not enough um, profit margin in it. Same as this. I'm looking for a product that I can sell for at least $40, if not more. And these have been done to death as well. Electric cleaning brush. It just looks like a bit of a cr cheap, crappy Chinese product. Wrong time of year for these as well. Nobody trying to cool themselves down in the UK in the middle of November. <laughs> um, too boring this product so yes everybody needs a collar but you can go to your local pet store and get one of these things so you want something that has that usp that people are going to come across and think oh i've never seen that before let me check it out let me click the ad let me check out the information about the product this looks pretty cool like a stained glass however it is glass so for sake of ease i'm going to stay away from that camping not really the time of year either so I've gone to Nexus, I've let sell the trend, give me some ideas and the ideas have been pretty crap. So what I'm gonna do now is actually um, put some of my own, put some of my own filters in. So I'm gonna go to Nexus and all. And what I'm gonna do when it finally loads up is, I'm not actually sure what this Nexus rank means. I've been using sell the trend for two or three years probably, I still don't know what it means. Um, but what I'm looking for is daily orders, most orders. What is selling now? And we have the titanium coated straight groove step drill bit set. There's probably not enough room in that. Um, I've seen these about, these are an interesting product. Let's keep scrolling down though and see what else we can find. 
Mouse mark, that's pretty cool. Probably not enough room in there for me. Torches are usually a pretty good one for Facebook because they're quite visual. These are a brilliant product as well. Um, these are just a hands down seller, as we can see since October 5th. The amount of orders is only continue to increase and increase and increase. The weather is getting colder and colder and colder. More and more people are discovering this and buying this. This is also a great product. It allows people to stay super warm and still kind of take advantage of that. Well, these are more like joggers rather than leggings, but you can get legging versions as well. So I'm going to call it there for, again, for sake of video time. Nobody wants to listen to me waffle on for an hour. I have no idea how long this video has been going, but we have somewhat of at least two decent products. I would say this is a pretty decent product and I would say this is a pretty decent product. So if you follow this process and you go through the same sort of thing, obviously spend a bit more time, write the products down um, and then come on to ChatGPT and on ChatGPT we're essentially, I was going to say build a brand but that's really kind of there's a lot more that goes into a brand than asking ChatGPT to give you some brand name ideas. Basically now what we're going to do is put together somewhat of a vision of what our brand is going to look like before we can move on to the next step, which is actually building the Shopify store. So I'm going to go for this one, um, Shock. This by far is the best product out of all of them. There's plenty of profit margins to be had in this at a product this expensive. Um, coming into January as well, it's going to be the sort of product that sells really well past Christmas and sales should be pretty consistent for the next six months, if not longer. So it's let's have a look. Let's, uh, let's jump onto their website actually and think basically what I'm looking for now um, is some keywords to put into ChatGPT just so it knows a bit more accurately what we're asking it to write a description for and come up with a brand name idea. So do you know what, actually, I'm just going to go for portable sauna and see what comes up. So right, product description for portable sauna. Introducing the ultimate relaxation solution, a portable infrared sauna transforming space and personal oasis of tranquility, compact and efficient sauna designed for on the go relaxation, whether you're at home, office, weekend, getaway experience. So it's pretty spot on to be fair. Um, let's ask it for, uh, give me say 10 brand name ideas for this product. Tranquil Heat Sauna Ease. That's a really cool name, Sauna Ease. A Mobile Sweat. That's pretty good as well. Um, heat Haven On The Go Glow Sauna. Don't really like that. Um, Serenity Pod. I think we have a couple of really good ones there, you know. So Sauna Ease, because it is. it says what it is, and it's ease in the fact that it's portable. And then you have um, Mobile Sweat as well, because it allows you to kind of take it wherever you go. So we have... I would probably, if it was me, go with Sauna Ease. So there we have our brand name. We have our product description, Sauna Ease. We have our portable sauna. So in its essence, we've got kind of like the skeleton, the bone, the bare bones of what our business is now going to look like. The next steps would be to create a Shopify account. Um, obviously and start playing around with logos, store design, and product imagery, that sort of thing. You can get your product imagery from suppliers online. Don't steal it from these guys, obviously, but make sure you edit it. Make sure you get rid of all the stock elements of it, any Chinese brand names, logos, that sort of thing. Put your own spin on it. So it'd be very easy to Photoshop the outline of a sauna and put a shadow on it or add a certain color or put your own logo on it. Just make it unique to your business so it stands apart from anybody else who's going to sell the product. Or better yet, if you have the time and dedication to do it, order one of these things, film some content of yourself using it, take some of your own images um, of the product to put on your Shopify store and make it unique. Unique is key if you want to be successful in this game. And so, I think that's it for this video. Hopefully I've given you guys some ideas and direction to go down. Step one, definitely focus on your products. If you haven't made a single penny with dropshipping yet, you uh, should be in the product research stages. Um, if you're still watching this video by now, then I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Hopefully you enjoy my content. If you do enjoy my content, then I have a gift for you, a secret gift that only you will know about because you've watched this video this far. Most people cut my videos off after a couple of minutes. Because you've stayed this long, then the chances are you're probably quite serious about starting a dropshipping business this Q4. If you are, then you are the exact type of person that I want to work with. I don't want to work with people who are going to spend two weeks trying to make enough money to buy a Lamborghini 
and then quit if they don't get that far. I want to work with somebody who's dedicated and willing to put in the time and effort into building a real business that actually makes money for the foreseeable. If that is you and you would like to work with me, then what you need to do is go below this video into the video description and you'll see a button that says see more. If you click that, it will open up the YouTube video description in its whole. At the bottom, you will see a link that says secret link and that is what you need to click. What it will allow you to do is book a time and date in my calendar. I've set some times and dates to the side to meet with people like you who are serious about dropshipping. It's completely free, completely no obligation. It's a chance for me and you to jump on a call, have a chat about where you are now, where you want to be in three to six months time and see if I can be the person to help you get there. If I can't, totally fine. If I can, totally fine. Maybe we can talk about how that relationship or how that deal will work. If that sounds good to you and you fancy having that chat, completely casual, friendly, no obligation, um, check out that link and get your call booked in um, sooner rather than later, especially if you are looking to make the most of Q4. So that's it from me guys in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. If there's anything I can do to help you guys get started, put a comment down below, read every single one, so I will get back to you. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.